Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Me Sam. So I guess I need to do a little bit of a backstory for this video. I am not new to the book. Okay. I am new to like the book community, but I'm not like new to reading books. I have been reading books since I was two years old, like my mom would read them to me and then when I got older enough to read books on my own, I would read them. And then so I kind of took a break from the book community for a minute because I went to high school, I read like all the Harry Potter's uh, books and I took a break and now I am back to my book girl era. I hope it's a forever era because like I do not want it to be just a limited time era, but you know what I mean. So I have decided to go ahead and grab my Disney Starbucks plastic cup and put ice, lots of ice because I live in Florida, it is hot, it is September 1st, and then zero sugar pink lemonade in here. So yeah, I thought it would be a good idea if we could grab a cup of lemonade and well, today's video is actually inspired by two YouTubers, Alexa Ray and Sarah Coltori. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but they are inspired by them. I actually have eight books that we're going to go through. We're not going to go through them in depth. So the concept for this was I have two best friends that are near and dear to my heart, Rachel and Nadine. Unfortunately, Nadine will not be picking out my books for this month. Next month she will, hopefully, but this month Rachel had decided to help pick out my book. Thank you so much again, Rachel. I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you so, so much. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. So, I actually sent her pictures of the books and I had her choose between them with no context whatsoever. And so these are the stack of let me bring them. Boy, they're heavy. These are the stack of books. Yeah, they're like heavy. Um, so I hope that this will be fun and entertaining for you guys. I really want to like have a mixture of what I wanted for my book. I don't want to be reading fantasy all the time. I want to dip my toes into like sci-fi and romance and you know because I read romance a lot so yeah I just want to dip my toes into other books other genres and so with that being said let's go and pick my books that I'm going to be reading in September so the first two books that I had Rachel pick out between is My Fault by Mercy's Ron and funny you should ask by Eliza this man actually I actually want to read this but the reason why I don't mind reading my fault by Macy's Ron is because I actually watched the movie Copa Mia if you guys know it's on Amazon Prime I watched it got up this with it so now I want to read the books I know her second book is coming out in English in December so I'm excited for that and because right now they are filming the second movie so I thought I could just tackle this series as we go along I read the first 67 pages and then I DNF'd it and then I thought why not include it in this and give it a second chance I think it was because I was reading the Emily McIntyre dark romance book that I got burned out from those books and now I decided to give it another go. I'm actually excited to read these books. Either one would have been fine honestly. Funny you should ask, I heard a lot of good things about this. This Arthur is actually so hyped on the book talk community. A lot of people like this book, a lot of people don't so I thought I would just check it out for myself. Got it earlier this year but yeah. So between both of these, she chose my fault for my first December, September, why am I thinking of December, oh my god. For my first September read, she chose my fault, which I am so excited about because honestly, I read a little bit last night and I'm on like page 70 right now. 
but this looks so much fun. I cannot wait to devour this. I will devour it. Make no mistake about it. So, yes, so this is my fault. The first book we have for September. So much fun. So, also, I want to let you guys know if I seem breathless, I am tired a little bit today, but. The only motivation that's making me want to film this video is I just want to film it and because I know I'm going to have a good month of reading hopefully so yeah just make sure to stay hydrated especially if you live in hot places especially like Florida just stay hydrated stay safe so on to the next two books choices we first have it and with us by Colleen Hoover and we have Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She actually wrote The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six, which I love the book and I love the show so I, I can so yeah we have these two options and my beloved beloved Rachel she showed which book did she show? She showed Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Reid, I hope I'm saying it right. Um, so I'm actually excited for this. I actually found this book in Goodwill for like a dollar and seventy-five. It's in really good condition. Like literally, the spine is in good condition. It was like amazing when I found it because I was like. What is she doing in Goodwill? Like literally, I don't know what to expect. I'm reading the back of it, but like, wow. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. I actually read both The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Sticks. So I actually think this will be interesting to read. I read It Ends With Us and while I Okay, semi enjoyed it, I DNF'd it. I'm gonna go back to it soon, probably. I don't know what is up with the movie. They said they were making a movie and now it's canceled or something like that. If anybody can like help me figure out what is wrong, like are they still doing the movie for it ends with us or did they cancel it? Like I'm confused myself about it. But yeah, what we're gonna be reading, the second book is forever interrupted so i'm excited about that so like thank you so much rachel i really really appreciate this and then the next one is terms and conditions the second book of the dreamland billionaire series by lauren asher and i read the first book and it was good but like it wasn't my favorite and then we have star wars brotherhood I can't even forget it. It's so big. Star Wars Brotherhood by... I don't know. Oh, Mike Chen. Mike Chen. So we have these two options. Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher from the Dreamland Billionaire series. And Star Wars Brotherhood by Mike Chen. Rachel has chosen Brotherhood by Mike Chen. Which I appreciate because I actually got this book because of one other booktuber, her name is Mena, or she's better yet known as Book Skywalker. I will leave her down below, but I actually picked up this book because of her and because I love Star Wars, so I don't know if Rachel knew that. She probably did, maybe she didn't, but yeah. This is just like an Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan. Like, it's interesting, it's really, gonna be interesting read I guess like I said earlier I want to dip my toes into sci-fi so that I feel like this is a good place to begin it doesn't seem that long compared to other books that I have read before that I have read before so I'm hoping that this would be a good read thank you so much for choosing this Rachel I really really appreciate it I will be tackling the series some other time it seems I don't mind Maybe I'll make it part of the October one. I don't know. We'll see. And then final 
final one I actually fun fact about me I am actually a historical nerd like I am the Ottoman Empire era the Tudors era the Yorks era like I am just a nerd on those eras so much so that I actually am obsessed with Henry VIII and his sixth wife his sixth wife more than Henry I if you're a history nerd like me you know what I'm saying so I actually love, love Anne Boleyn so much. Like my ranking of his wives are Anne Boleyn, Captain of Aragon, Anne of Cleves, Captain Parr, and then Captain Howard. Like I have nothing against Captain Howard, but she's like my least favorite. But Anne Boleyn is my favorite, favorite, favorite queen. Like she's just my ultimate favorite. And I just, for this book selection, I didn't know if she was considering my historical favorite, like my historical era girl personality, but I actually had her choose between The Vice Count Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn and The Lady in the Tower by Alison Weir. So this book is about Anne Boleyn and her last few moments as Queen of England. So like it just it talked about Anne Boleyn's final days and what it was like for her. And if you guys are like looking to get into your historical facts, I would start with Alison Weir. There are books that is like Philippe or Gregory. I would not go with her. She's not historically accurate. I wouldn't dip my toes in her books, but Alison Weir is a good, good writer. She makes sure that things are historically accurate, and she's a historian, unlike Philippe Gregory, which I'm not gonna get into that right now. But yeah, this is the selection. Um, I might give you guys a few minutes to decide. Okay, well, a few seconds to decide which book you think she showed, because she knows, Rachel knows I love love the second season of Bridgerton so much. She knows that I love this time era of it, which I forgot to mention earlier when I was talking about like my favorite time era, me being a history girly. But yeah, this is like one of my other favorite eras. Like I think Victorian era is called, I need. But yeah, which one do you guys think that she showed? I'm these two. If you chose the lady in the tower, you are correct because she showed this for me. Again, it just makes sense. I'm just really excited to tackle this book, honestly. I she's not she's not like big, but she's not short. So I'm just I'm excited for books this month. I just oh my gosh, it's it's like a feeling, like oh to have four books chosen out, catered to me, and my friend did it for me. I, I love it so, so much. Like, I really, really appreciate this so, so much. I have four amazing books to tackle this month. Just a lot of amazing things for this month, and I just cannot wait. I need her to take like a drinking break, because I've been doing this talking. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, anything you want to know about me, follow me down below on Instagram. I'll leave a link to my Instagram. You guys can follow me there. I want to do a Q&A, but a lot of people have not been interacting with my Instagram, which is fine. Uh, if you guys want to ask me any questions, you can ask me in the comments down below anything book related. I would sure love to chat with you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, figured out, seeing, learning a little bit about me. But if you want to learn more, again, just comment down below in the comment box. And I would love to chat with you guys about books, about historical things. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, you can do that as well. Book vlogs. Are they coming? Are they going to make an appearance? Yes, I do want to do a book vlog, but I have like... So many things to do with my university, with things happening personal to me. So like, I'm not so sure about book vlogs, but they are on there. They're on the list for sure. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I mean, it's so weird to have people watching me talk about books. I cannot wait to actually get used to it. 
but yeah i'm excited i'm really excited like this is probably going to be my book place i'm moving the camera down a little bit this is probably going to be the area where i want to read my book where you guys will probably see i want to decorate it a little bit more even though it's outside i still want to decorate it make it feel homey and stuff like that but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I keep saying this so much, but really, it means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Again, any questions, you want to chat, either follow me on Instagram or comment down below. But yeah, thank you so much. I also want to know about you guys. What are your favorite books so far? What have you read this year that you enjoy? Leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. And yeah, so thank you for watching this video <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!